What's up guys, it's Sears Hoover here, and today I'm going to be starting a new indie game called Airy Vikings. Um, if you're familiar with the Airy series, this game is nothing really new, um, except for just, you know, a different theme and different levels. Um, but basically, just to give you kind of a little bit of background, this is a game where you, it's a flight simulator, um, if you want to call it that, where, a very basic one, where you basically fly as this bird that you see on the main screen here, his name is Airy. And you just go around each level, um, there's various levels, there's 13 levels in this game. Um, and you just go around exploring the, le uh, the levels and you collect feathers along the way. Which sometimes are like narrated and they kind of give you a little bit of a story. Sometimes it's completely unrelated to the game. Sometimes they don't really make sense. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, this is an indie game, it's like usually 10 to 15 bucks. Very easy for achievements, because um, literally all you have to do is just complete each of the 13 levels and you get all the game score, all 1000 gamer score unlocked. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into it here. <clears throat> Looks like you can play them uh, in any order, um, which means that you can you know, replay them if you need to, but I'm going to start from level 1 called The Gods. And go from there. It was around 1,000 years ago, in the middle of the prime time of the Vikings. Back then, some of the most important Norse gods had a dispute. They were arguing about the future, the destiny, of the Vikings. And as none of them could convince their counterparts, they decided to make a bet out of it. They gave the Vikings 100 years to reach beyond their world, to send a message to Valhalla, to show that they were more than just brave warriors. And so, the great race to Valhalla began. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. That guy sounds like he's eating the mic. Thankfully I lowered the volume, so... Controls are very simple in this game. You literally just move around. Um, with the left stick, you can kind of turn with the right stick if you want to, but... You can also do that with the left stick. Um... I guess you can move around with the right stick too. Other than that, you can kind of boost with A. Even though it doesn't really do much. Boost a little bit, I guess. Now, for the most part, these feathers are kind of like in, in a row, like in a pattern. There have been times in this game, in, these, in this series, I should say, where... That wasn't really the case, but, uh, looks like this one's going to be all right. As long as they're, like, kind of in, located in a row, it's all good. Alright, this one doesn't really make sense. Also, the controls are inverted, which is kind of annoying. Let me fix that real quick. Alright, so that's a nine. Kinda like this one so far. This is a level that's been done before though. I've seen kinda seen 
this in a different airy game. Although this one is a little bit different. Freaking things are kind of all over the place. I see one up here. Which I would have missed that one. I'm just glad that they definitely learned over the games that they've made because, man, in the beginning these things were really hard to find. Now they have like the circles rotating around them and they're colored orange. And they have like the sparkles. It really <coughs> makes them hard to miss. <coughs> but back in the day, or the first game, the feathers were like pure white. So there was like levels where it was like in the clouds and stuff. So those are really hard to find. Alright, let me grab this one and the one in the water. It's interesting because it looks like this game isn't narrated throughout the levels, which it used to be. story is just told kind of like in the beginning. That's it. I'm guessing it of each level, most likely, so... We shall see. Alright, so this is 18, and then I need two, three more. I see two of them right there. See the third one over there. All right, cool. This level's pretty big. There's a bear chilling on the trunk. Alright, last one. Alright, and we're done. 
Level 1 out of 13 complete. Many tried, but bound to their human bodies, none of the brave Vikings were even able to come close to Valhalla. After many years of trying and countless failed attempts, most deemed the task impossible, and the task of the gods was slowly forgotten. Not for everyone, though. There was a boy at the mere age of 10 years. He had heard about the impossible task, and while he was not the fastest, and by far not the strongest Viking, he was one of the smartest. Hmm. This place looks interesting. Their village. It's a Viking village. All right, hopefully these have a pattern to them. Because right now I just kind of see feathers all over the place. Why are these feathers, like, dark? It'd be so much better if they were orange, like they're supposed to be. This one's kind of weird too. Got a bonfire area over here. I know for a fact that this, if you get motion sickness, this game can definitely easily give that to you. Because holy crap. All right, 15 out of 28. 16, just need 12 more. All right, there's a couple. 10 more.
I just need six more now. All right, four more. Hmm. I see one right there. Now just one more. This one B. Seriously, why they make them black here? Like dark. I don't think they're on like on the outskirts. Is that it? No. It's like a branch. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Stands out quite a bit. At least it should. Alright, so it's not back here. Like, maybe it's like somewhere between the buildings, because that was kind of hard to find if that was the case. Could kind of easily miss that. Scanning the area, I don't really see anything. Is 
There's a tree in the air. Call them actually. <laughs> Bro, where is this one? Holy crap. Oh, wow. Damn, man. In between the buildings. 